your tummy becomes big and people think you are pregnant. Jackie, not her real name, tells me about what led to her diagnosis. I found out three years ago. I was in Kumasi at that time. Like, I went for a cousin's wedding. Like, I was there. The bridesmaid, but then that day, I got my menses the day before the wedding, and the second day I bled a lot, like a lot. I was changing my pad like ten times, yeah, that day, and it was very heavy. She shares some of her symptoms. Difficulty in breathing, like you walk a little and you are tired, you are panting. Yeah, and all those are uh, the symptoms of the signs of the low HP. Yeah, so basically, yeah, that's an abdominal pain during menstruation. With that particular day, I really bled a lot. I was like a tap flu. When it started, I was told that it's too small, so I can keep it. I kept it in six years time, my stomach bloated. I was having severe symptoms. I couldn't breathe. I couldn't, you know, I bleed so, so much. Sometimes in a month, I bleed for about 17 days, 20 days, just bleeding. I was white. And I kept on reporting this to the doctor. Elizabeth Kurasar is the executive director of Fibroid Foundation Africa. Most women have fibroid without knowing it. In fact, about 80% of the cases affect women below the ages of 45 years. Amfaga Catholic Hospital decided to do mass screening. That was in November 2022. And the mass screening was for 10 days. And within the 10 days, uh, 146 women presented themselves for the mass screening. That was within the 10 days. And out of the 146 women who presented themselves for the mass screening, there were over 88 people who had fibroids. It's like, it's so prevalent, it's so common. So what are fibroids? Here is Dr. Promise Sefoga, who is a lead obstetrician gynecologist at Shape Healthcare. Fibroids are a common cause of heavy menstrual bleeding and also painful menstrual bleeding. And sometimes it causes what we call intermenstrual bleeding. The woman has her period and before it is time for the next one, she sees bleeding again. So in between the cycles. Not all the fibroids require treatment. If somebody has fibroids and it's not causing any problems, it's not so big, we just monitor it. Every twice in a year, we repeat the scan to see is it growing bigger, is it putting pressure on any major organ, is it having any effect. If not, yeah, we just monitor, we don't do anything. Then those in whom it's causing a lot of pain, either pain during the menses or even outside the menses, then they require pain medication as and when. Okay. And then if it's making them bleed heavy, but not so heavy, then there is place to replace the blood they are losing. So it is only when it is extremely problematic, when it is so huge, like what we just removed. In this case, the fibroid has made a uterus about 30 week size, pregnant, uh, that's about eight or so months pregnancy size. Uh -huh. So that one, and then also because of the location, fibroids located right inside the cavity, we call it a submucosal one. And then also being in the way of pregnancy, making her bleed excessively with lots of clots every month to the extent that her blood level became so low, she became anemic. Okay. Then that is a candidate who needs the fibroid removed. Surgery is still underway and luckily Dr. Safoga and his team has been able to uh, remove all the fibroids from this lady. Now, let me just show you how small and tiny this fibroids can start off as. Something as small as a grain of sand. You can even barely see it on your screen, but this is what 
they can start off as and gradually they begin to grow into uh, you know sand and a grain of rice and some lemon uh, let me just show you here another of those fibroids i was taking out from this woman and they can grow into massive sizes look at the size of that now this is what we call a fibroid this is a, a, a tumor that grows and feeds on you know uh, the female hormones of women and it affects the quality of life I'm talking about uh, you know anemia heavy menstrual bleeding and so on and so forth but luckily Dr. Promise of Organic team have been able to extract all these fibroids and she would go on to have a full recovery and I'm pretty sure that uh, a year from now we'll be right here in, in this theater delivering some of her babies you should see your health service provider to discuss what options or treatment plans are available to you because no fibroids are the same someone might require surgery in the case of this lady others will just need some treatment uh, options there and getting fibroids or being diagnosed with fibroids is not the end of the world there are several treatment options available to you and so see your service health provider to discuss what treatment options are available to you and you will go on to have a full recovery from your fibroids. Reporting for TV3 News, Iman Osamani.